Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and today I went to the flea market. I haven't been in about a month and I did film like 10 seconds of footage so you can see what it looks like. It's an indoor flea market and they have vendors who are always set up and people who sell new stuff, used stuff, crafts and an Amish market. I want to look at the beads over here. Okay. These. Okay, these are round. So there's like a cobalt string. And then. <laughs> I think these two are the same, and this one's a tad different. I mean, but they're all so, so similar. little light blue one. So originally 275 and I just believe that's a tad older, that price tag as well. And I paid a quarter for it. We've got a silvery color, a very light pink satin, and then a couple variations on white and clear, and then two iris. I believe I spent $11.85 for everything and that included a little 50 cent necklace that my son got for my daughter. It was very sweet. And I also got a dress from Ann Taylor. So prices are great at this booth and the lady is so nice. She always gives you a free um, gift. There was this glass uh, bracelet for 50 cents. Pretty small so I, I will use it for a decoration. I like to hang stuff like this from doorknobs. I think it's clear white and orange, but it could work for Christmas, who knows? I'll turn it into a little wreath. This set of glass beads for 10 cents that's gonna be added to that uh, Christmas pudding sculpture I've been working on. And then uh, these were in an area that were 50 cents marked down to a quarter. And I picked those up to just go in my stash. I've got a lot like this. It's like the painting over the enamel. I think it starts with a G, but I can't remember how to spell it or say it. I'm not that familiar with it. Um, it's, it's a French jewelry style, I think. Galoche or something. Could be totally wrong, though. And I've been accumulating a bunch of them, and that might be nice for a, uh, Chris, a jewelry Christmas tree. Or even, like, just an egg shape. Maybe a jewelry Easter egg. Do those exist? And then this little heart has a little red gem. So that could be nice for a Christmas tree as well. So all of that and an Ann Taylor dress. Let me hang it up so you can see. This is the dress and it's from Ann Taylor. So she had $10 on it and it was reduced to five. Where is the tag? Oh, it is. And I love Ann Taylor. It's not missing the tie. And what I really love, besides flutter sleeves, is this type of neckline. So I was really happy to find this one. I think this will be so nice in the summer at uh, the churchyard sale. Just something real comfortable to wear all day while I'm working and just lightweight so I won't get hot. I paid 50 cents for this original painting of lady slippers. Thought it really had a feeling like Gauguin. His uh, Polynesian paintings and the colors, the brush strokes. It's signed on the back and I believe it's signed here on the front. It's got a lot of texture to it. And I looked that up. That means lady slipper, which is the plant. 1983 and yeah, it's always so hard to read artist signatures. I mean, you can kind of see the Krista Pearl. And then what is that? Dura? I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. And 50 cents. Who could beat that? One lady was selling a lot of nice nail polishes for a dollar a piece. I think Essie now is up to $10 at Target. And this one, just a nice glitter that uh, I think I might use on a sculpture that I had made back in the fall. I really want some luster to it, 
but I also think that I'll add a little bit of this chunkier glitter nail polish. Might even like pour it on. It's for the um, Ravenclaw that's picking up the jack-o'-lantern. And I just want a little sparkle to it more than I had. And I had put some nail polish on it, but it was more of, um, I don't think it was the big glitter. So we'll see. It's a dollar. And if not, I'm sure my daughter will have no problem taking it from me. So big and little flex with like a purpley blue. So definitely the color I was going for. What is that called? If anyone's interested, I don't know. 9.53. Oh, here we go. Stroke of brilliance. <laughs> I spent $13 at the first stand that I went to. And a lot of you know that I am making my Christmas journal. So I wouldn't mind finding some nice Christmas ephemera to add to it. And I found these. These are really old and unique. I paid three dollars for this as well. They all say 1863. Love Santas. A Merry Christmas. That one says Gibson. Made in Germany. That's interesting. Really interesting. This one has gold bells. It says Seasons Greetings. And there are two little cherubs. Denison Manufacturing Company. So it's neat that it's printed on the back of the seal. Another Father Christmas, 1863. Nobody wrote on the back of that. I think they're all different too. This was great find, especially since I'm doing something Christmassy. I love this one with the poppies. Merry Christmas candle, a little bit of uh, gold. See how it's perforated too. December 25th, little Holly. And I really liked this one. And it was folded. But if I'm going to glue it, I can just glue it there. Although it actually looks like something probably was already torn off him already. 1863. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 things for $3. And if you haven't seen my Christmas journal, because you're new or you just watch my hauls and not my vlogs, this is what I'm working on. Christmas movies I like to watch, and I've started putting the songs I like to listen to and collaging with things. So these will be very nice put into little empty spots like that like just the perfect find for what I'm working on right now some stuff is mid-century looking but others uh other pages I think have that you know brocant antique look and I am putting some older ephemera and things that I have in there because I want this to be a journal that is kept forever so I do want to put some of my favorite things in there. She had a box that was under her table that had old black and white photos, uh, some religious ephemera, and then this purse was in there. Of course the purse caught my eye. I was really drawn to these colors, maybe not so much the brown, but I could see in here um, it says made in France. She said it was a Bakelite handle. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. But the one thing that's broken is this part on that side. Which I feel like you could, no, nah, I wouldn't want to clamp it in there. But I feel like you could, you could easily kind of do something to, I don't know, rig it up so you could, you could hang it or display it. So I asked her how much, um, and I thought, if she says 10, I probably won't get it 
just because it's not really the colors that I'm drawn to. But I do love beaded bags and, you know, it's made in France. <laughs> and when she said five, I was like, okay, I'm not going to walk away from that. And then when I was thinking about, well, how could I use it before I fix it or if I don't ever hang it up? And it could be something beautiful to store handkerchiefs in or maybe linens that you collect. Like I just keep mine in a drawer. So this could go in that drawer and then just have some handkerchiefs stored in there or come out of it. So that's an idea. And yeah, some of the tassels are coming off on the bottom. So we'll scoop those beads up and then this was a fun find for five dollars as well so they were in with um a bunch of these and a little uh chandelier crystals and i pulled these out these are glass uh beads and all wired up already i wonder what they were originally i mean did they go over the light bulb which would be really cool um, and if they are, I mean, are they old? Because I've never seen that before. Are they hand, like handmade at home? I mean, you can buy things handmade in a factory, but is this like someone sitting in their house making it? So when I saw them, I only saw four. And it's funny because this, this lady and I, we talk all the time. She knows that I'm an art teacher. And I said, this is what I would do with it. <laughs> and she said, $5. And then I saw um, this one, so I put it in. So now I'm debating what I want to make with it. So I just washed them off and, and saw that they actually plump up. I still might make some type of insect with it. Um, it's difficult though. How is that gonna attach to that? Like I think I'd have to wire it and then have some glue. And then I, you know, if I change my mind, I never wanted to take it apart. So I wanna think about it. But I'm happy that there's one extra because now I'm thinking I could make one of those mushrooms. I could get a stick. I might even have like a, a neat wooden spindle at school that could go up into there and then just have this little glass beaded mushroom. So that's my haul. A lot of stuff that I hope to be creative with and a fun little painting and dress. Um, and I'll just throw this in. I shared this in last Saturday's thrift haul and I did add some rub and buff. I don't know how well it's showing up here, but it looks good in person to the holly. And I like the green down in there. It's kind of minty looking. It's just patina and age. And then I do think that I'll get some red paint and do the holly berries. I don't want to blind you, uh, but this is the one, so that's why I have my hand up. This is the one light bulb that I have that's like a candlestick but it's the larger size. So I could get it about halfway down. So I wonder if that really could have or would have gone on top of a smaller one. I mean, it's just glass and wire, so I don't think that would really hurt anything. Just a thought. So thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in another video. Bye.